Hey everybody, Attic VIP here. Got uh, my buddy Pentlock next to me. We're doing a little bit of fishing. What's up, Pen? Hello, Pint? everybody. Not much. Yeah, we're just doing a little bit of fishing here. Trying to, trying to get a little fishy fishies here, you know. Kick back, drinking a beer, and doing some fishing. Pen, this is pretty boring. I agree. You want to do a tour of our new base? Sure. Well, it's not really a base. It's our slime fun lab. But, uh... Sure does beat fishing, huh? That's for sure. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna catch... I'm gonna catch one more big one. Oh, I got a record! Oh, so did I. Alright. Alright. this 418. That's what I got. Uh, Mahoney or something like that, however you say it. I got 418 as well. Alright, I'm going to TP to the base, or to the Slime Fun Lab. Alright, everybody, so, uh, oh, hey, <laughs> watch it there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> So, give me that back. Um, this is our new Slime Fun um, laboratory. And um, basically, it's like the old one. But we did a little bit of uh, aesthetic changes. Um, with it looks pretty. With the terracotta on the bottom. Then we did the reverse design up top. We've got our deep storage. Or what are these called? Deep storage units. Yeah. Got our deep storage up here, and so it looks like we don't have a lot, but these hold like uh, 10 million, no. 1 million, one, a little over 1 million stacks. Yeah, 1 million stacks of ores. So, yeah, if you see 1% and 5%, you know. Well, six, like this one's a 6% and there's 61,000 dust in it. Oh my lord, that's crazy. That's a lot of dust. It is a lot of dust. Um, so, yeah, we still got the old traditional machines um, right here. And then we made a little uh, like a pantry for the supplies. These are just all of our excess things that we've built. So, not that many people have just blistering ingots laying around and uh, plastic sheets and stuff like that. But, um, you know, we got some magnets, and electromagnets batteries out the wazoo, synthetic diamonds, cargo motors and androids. Oh, I gotta get that out of my ender chest and put that in there. There we go. Cargo node. Um, some other slime fun stuff that we've built that's just kind of like hanging out. Oh, Pen, I didn't know what to do with this crushed ore. Okay, I'll uh, put it in the sifted ore box. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Um, but yeah, we just, we've been, uh, we've been busy, and, uh, so, you know, we've got a lava generator and some Android, poor programmable Android stuff, got our hazmat suit there, but this all looks nice and dandy, right? But you ain't seen nothing yet. Are you ready to, I want you to explain this tour, Pent. Oh, let me explain the factory? Yep. Okay, well, uh, through these special doors is the factory. Uh, this is our input area where we input all of our dusts. For some reason, the way that since slime fun channels are messed up, I can't just connect straight into the barrels, so I had to create a separate system to load in the materials into the factory. Um, but anyway, so we move over here to the production area. We just have start out, start from the very beginning of, of how it works, like from the the um the the miner over there. Okay, well we got the miners here that mine cobble and put it into the uh, interface center nodes here. Um, there's a fuel fuel node or fuel interface and a item interface. Item interface pulls the items out, fuel interface gives it fuel to the android. Um, then the items go into this red blinky light stuff. 
uh, looks kind of like redstone blinking, and goes through the transport system. Um, then it comes over here to the ore grinders. Uh, we have uh, two complete sets of, uh, of ore grinders. Uh, grinds up the ore into, or the um, cobblestone into gravel. Then it comes into the gold pan, which is these brown blocks, uh, which then turns the uh, gravel into uh, sifted ore. And then the sifted ore goes into the washers, uh, which are the blue glass, and that turns it into the individual dusts, which then gets uh, separated out and put into our deep storage units. Now, once you do the uh, gravel, you also have the chance of getting other byproducts, don't you? Uh, yes, we actually trash can those byproducts into uh, the trash can over here. Oh, there's the trash can. Looky there. Oh, okay, yeah. and you can put clay and flint in there. So all the clay and flint that's produced goes into the trash can. Correct. Outstanding. And so you got over here the fuel for the uh, for the miners, huh? No. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's fuel for the miners. And so, uh, and then now we have the uh, power for the factory, which, as you can see, we're approaching one million uh, Minecraft jewels or jolts or whatever they want to call it. Um, we have what are these called? Energized solar panels. Either way, they take four blistering ingots each, so they're expensive as heck. And so we've got enough space to put eight of them because there's eight spots that go all the way to sunlight because they are solar panels, so they have to be solar panel energized or energized by the sun. But we've only got four right now because that's all we need at the moment. But that's probably going to change, isn't it, Pent? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> then we move on to the factory itself. Wait, wait, wait. Um, so oh, what, what? this is the crucible here. And um, what it does is it takes cobblestone out of this chest here, it goes into the crucible, and it turns it into lava buckets. And then it sends the lava buckets over here to the lava bucket uh, chest. So we have endless supply of lava for our GPS, which is upstairs. Or up, yeah. We'll show you that later. And then this is the recycler. And what happens here is if we were to come over here to the trash can and we were to take that clay out right there and we would stick it over here in this node right here, then it would start putting all the clay into the recycler. Here, I'll show you. And what that does is um, it, transfer, or it uh, transforms all of the... Uh, here, I'll put one in there. See, it transforms, it's just junk, and it transforms it into these things, um, which are called scrap boxes. And when you open one of these scrap boxes, I'll open one up, there's no telling what you get, but I got cake. Um, but you can also get batteries and diamonds and ores and uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Don't forget the hose. Oh yeah, you get lots of hose with the scrap boxes. And everybody needs hose. Alright, continue the tour please. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now um, here we have our Carbonado uh, energy capacitors, which is the uh, biggest energy capacitor you can get. Um, and that powers the entire factory. Uh, these first machines we have here are ingot factories. They produce ingots from the dusts. Um, we have a total of nine of them. Uh, we got the eight main dusts here and then the gold dust one behind. Um, to make 24 karat gold, it takes a series of machines. So it goes from um, four carat, it goes from dust to four carat. Yeah. And then four carat to six carat, six to eight blah 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 all the way down to 24 karat gold yes it does so we've got 24 karat gold just sitting there and lots of 22's ready to be made into 24's yep the whole system is backfilled and waiting for us to take something out but we have so much 24 karat gold right now that eh, it's pointless yep 
So what are these? Right. What are these benches over here? Um, these are automated crafting chambers. Um, currently they're not hooked up or else they would have a stone over top of them with a sign. But it'll make things like batteries and electromagnets and solar panels and things like that. Gotcha. So what we got going over here? Uh, these, this is our alloy section. Uh, this begins our nickel, cobalt, fer uh, ferro-silicon, so on, so on. Um, provides each of our main types of uh, alloys that do not use carbon. So if I wanted to go make some Corinthian bronze in the crafting table, instead of putting all of those things in there and click, 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 and I just come over here and grab a stack. Yep. And these are all the ingredients needed to make Corinthian bronze. And it just makes them automatically. That's pretty cool. Yeah, then we have the final row, um, which it starts off with the uh, four alloys that require uh, carbon. Oh, so you uh, grouped all the carbon ones together. Yes. Now, reinforced alloy itself does not take carbon, but it takes ingots that do take carbon, such as Damascus steel and hardened metal. Um, so it's in the carbon area, just for that reason. That makes sense. But, yeah, look at all them magnets. Holy bejesus, two stacks. And didn't even have to touch it, just had to set it up. Wow. But then we have our carbon presses. Uh, they actually uh, make the different levels of carbon. Uh, make our carbon chunks and... So it starts off with coal going into here, and mm -hmm. then it takes the and turns it into carbon, and then four carbons turns it into compressed carbon, and then the yes. four compressed carbon go into the carbon chunk, and eight of those with flint create a diamond chest plate protection level three. <laughs> Um, I just, uh, I put those in there, that way, uh, it keeps it from filling up two stacks, because we don't need two stacks of carbon chunks. Gotcha. Uh, it allows us to backfill the system a little bit quicker, because again, since channels don't work on Slime Fun right now, um, it makes it, for the transport system, it, we have to backfill everything in order to work, so. Gotcha. So, they got the carbon chunk sitting there, making... Uh, making carbon chunks, and then it turns it. Then it goes to the raw carbonado, which is used uh, to make the synthetic diamonds. And actually, that is incorrect. No, it's the carbon. The carbon chunk makes uh, synthetic diamonds. Oh. Then, the, then synthetic diamonds are used along with raw or carbon chunks to make uh, raw carbonado. Gotcha. I kind of got those two machines backwards. I was wondering. That it threw me off. And then we got the synthetic diamonds over here. And then, so then the raw carbonados get transferred over to the carbonado. And we got a stack of carbonados. Actually, we got, yeah, a stack. And yep. so, what's all this blinky mess over here? This is for future expansion. Um, I plan on adding more, uh, there'll be a lot more of these automated crafting chambers. Yeah. And that way we can try to produce almost every item that, Slime Fun has to produce. Wow. And so, all we're, while we were out there fishing, all of this was working. Yep. And we weren't doing a daggone thing except fishing. Pretty much. So, we pretty much have uh, coined the phrase uh, entrepreneurs of Minecraft. <laughs> pretty much. Nice. <laughs> nice. So, um,. This is a really cool trick right here. What I did here was I made a um, fully automated uh, smeltery. So instead of sitting there having to light it each time, we've got a pressure plate here. And when you stand on it, you can hear it clicking. And that's um, these uh, flint and steels constantly firing down inside of there. So if we were to take, um, let's see, what do we need? Zinc is the lowest so far. Sifted ore, which... Uh, Alright, so we need some zinc bars. Ingots. So we're going to grab a stack of zinc dust. 
and we're going to throw it in the smeltery. And normally, you'd have to sit there and light it each time. But because we're standing on it, we just go to town. And if you were to able to see, there we go, the fire goes out, but then it automatically gets clicked by the flint and steel. You can tell at the very bottom. And you never have to sit there and do it. And voila, we got zinc ingots. Bada boom, bada bing. And, um, oh yeah, what are these machines over here? Uh, these machines over here, well, we have the Rainmaker, which is Attic's expertise. Oh uh, yeah, so the Rainmaker, if you were to come in here and grab one of these nifty little iodine charges, you're going to hear a lot of people complain. But we do it all the time. That's why it constantly rains on this server. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you put the iodine charge in there. And in 30 seconds, it's going to start raining. And everybody's going to be like, I just paid for the sun. <laughs> so what are these over here? Uh, this is the heated pressure chamber. Uh, this is what we use to make plastic sheets and to use to uh, make blistering ingots. That allows us to craft a lot of our machines. Gotcha. Oh, I might add that all of our machines are top tier machines. Uh, yes. None of them are basic level machines. All of them are maxed out. Yep, level three everything. And this here, well, except smelteries, they're max level two. Um, but anyway, then we have an automated crafting chamber that we use for just random stuff, uh, whatever we happen to be needing to work on at the time. And then there's uh, these two machines, which I don't know a whole lot about. So this is the auto enchanter, and what's really cool about that is you can grab like um, you know just a basic book, and you can grab um, a chess piece, and you can put it in that auto enchanter, and instead of having to waste your levels, it uh, enchants it for you, and it gives you back the book and the item that you enchanted. And so the disenchanter um, is quite the opposite. You can put in a chess piece. So say I was to get this that has protection 8, thorns 3, unbreaking 6, mending gears 3, and ice aspect 5. And you were to get that and put in there with a book, it would take all of the custom enchants off of it and put all the custom enchants on a book for you. But you lose the piece of gear that you have. So that's the only downside to using the auto disenchanter. So I would lose um, my boots here with protection eight, thorns three, unbreaking six, and mending. So, no, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I just said that wrong. You would get a book with all of the vanilla enchants on it, and then you would lose the CE. So what you have to do f first is take these off. Nope. I did it wrong again. You take off the vanillas first, then you take off the CEs by using slash CE rune with the shift click a blank book and then your stuff on there and it'll take it off. Yep. And then you lose the chess piece, but you now have two books with all of your items. Totally screwed that up. Sorry about that. So, you want to show them the rest of, the, uh, rest of our place? Um, we got time? Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. Let's go. I don't have a speed up function, or if there is, I don't know how to use it. So, it's a maze, but, you know, once you get past all of it, you're good to go. Is Pimp back there? Yep, there he is. Alright. So, this is our... Um, whatchamadoodle our blaze spawner and I have 44 is it 44? yes 44 blaze spawners up there so they just rain like crazy bam bam and I mean we just constantly always getting levels off these guys yeah I currently I have 178 levels I have 60 because I made your fishing rod ah uh. But, uh, 
Yeah, so you just sit here and grind all day. And by grinding, not only do you get the levels, but you also get the blaze rods, which get sent to um, the slime fun area that we use to fuel the android miners. So literally killing two birds with one stone or two blazes. Um, then our crafting area. I did want to show you in my ender chest, I do have the totem of undying, but I have this electric chest plate. And what that is, is it negates all damage dealt to a player. So if I'm wearing that, you can't hurt me. Pretty cool. All right. So if you hear to the right and you be very quiet and look around the corner, sheep! <laughs> so this is our sheep farm. Got uh, two of every color. I could breed them if I wanted to, but our lag is so bad here that I think it'd probably be an idea, bad idea. And then we got cows, cows. And I I had an auto uh, auto feeder for the cows. I had it on slash ah. I don't know if it's still on there. It is. Yep, for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, auto breeder. And so what that does is uh, it automatically feeds all of the cows in a um, I think a five by five area and when you feed them they start breeding so then you get more babies. Um and then here is our access to the upper world hit the button and it's raining it's Let's raining I wonder why it's raining <laughs> yeah and then you hit this button here oh never knew there was a door there did you so Pent is pretty much the architect of um, all of our builds. Pent and I have been playing together for going on six years. And um, he is the designer of the exteriors. And I do the interiors and all the fun shit. Um, he does a lot of the fun stuff too. But he is, his Excel, his masterpieces is the exterior of buildings. He is so good. This is the most expensive road on the server. And then we've got a couple people that moved in to our plots. Um, and then we decided to make a public uh, whatchamadoodle. What is this thing called? Uh, another portal. Yes. Um, so we did that. And then this green building here... Um, you can tell I designed it because it doesn't look half as good as Pence. Um, but this is our uh, public blaze spawner. And it's only got four, I think, in there. Or no, it's got ten. Yeah, something closer to ten. Yeah. Um, and then our town people can come down here and open the chest. But it's only open to town people that live here. So if you try to grab the blaze rods, no bueno. Um, so this is where you spawn when you type slash T spawn vortex. And as soon as you come in, you can tell. I mean, we don't have a lot of stuff around here. We're thinking about adding some trees maybe or something, maybe a fountain. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, we connected the two towers up top. And right now they're empty. They don't have anything in them. Um, this is actually on top of the 44 blaze spawner, as you can hear them. So when we made it, we had to make we had to make something that looked pretty to cover it up. So Pent came up with this illustrious design of a tower, and then I duplicated it over here on this tower. And this tower is where we keep all of our. Uh, enchanted stuff so we got all the enchanted so if you need any enchanted stuff uh, I'm, I'm definitely the guy to come talk to and um, then down here we've got all of our uh, tree saplings and then these are books and we have so many books that we need to get rid of so if you guys need books give us a holler because we got books at the wazoo I don't know if that's painful or not. Mm, maybe just a little. Sounds like it might be painful. 
Um, so then this is the town hall and um, we have a public not public for town members only uh, ancient altar so if you need to do anything with the ancient altar you can use it and then this is our meeting room and I like to dance on the table because uh, it's a lot of fun and then yeah where's my dinner I'm not cooking tonight let's order uh -oh. pizza <clears throat> oh, okay sounds good actually I live in Texas so uh, we'll eat some barbecue um, so I don't know what to do with these rooms yet so if you guys have any suggestions uh, type it below in the comments section that would be great uh, up here we have the shop and we have pretty much every item that you would need in the game and a lot of spots open for others um, these are all the building well these are all the ores and then we got some elytras and some blaze spawners and then all your building materials that you would need were 25 percent cheaper than if you were to type slash shop and we actually sell stuff that the shop doesn't sell as well more building materials wood then we get over here people ask for bone and string okay sure whatever uh, got all the foods over here uh, got a couple plants and then this is all the redstone air uh, stuff and since we're one of the only suppliers of slime balls on the server uh, you should shop us and then this is the dragon head so message me if you'd like to buy it these are all the enchanted books so I've labeled them by what they go on so uh, that's the bow section tool section weapons and then uh, armor down there so we've got books like I said out the wazoo um, this is a town's uh, enchanting table and then the town brewing system and um, some little twerp named Riley something came in here and stole all my ingredients out of my crafting tables so I had to put them up there which now you can buy so if you need some glowstone uh, or whatever uh, we got that on on lockdown and then if you need to get a brewing stand um, and brewing supplies um, and then this is just um, all your railway transportation saddles armor and then miscellaneous and now uh, this is Pent's section so I will let Pent describe th his section um, well this is pretty much just as um, it looks it's all the alloys and ingots that uh, slime fun uses along with some of the basic materials such as carbonados, power crystals, synthetic diamonds, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, basically any slime fun uh, stuff that you may want, we probably got it. Uh, if not, just message us and we can make it. Machines, uh, in the black market, we're working on getting the machines up and running, so if you want to get started, you can go to the black market and get some machines to get started. I think we should check that out as soon as we show them the chest room. Well, it's not actually set up yet. Oh. Womp womp. So, that's only a door that Pent and I can go in, because uh, it's on private. And then you come into here, and you hit the elevator. And so we got the scrap box room, the big open room, the shop, which is where we're at now, and the chest room. So let's go to the chest room. So this is our chest room, and uh, Pent and I are hoarders. So we have usually blocks on blocks on blocks so if you were to need a chess piece we got them um, and then this is our brewing station here just get your bottles dip it in the water there and make your potions here and we can make any potion we have all the materials and then the way I did this chess shop is I started off kind of the way that I did the regular shop got all your building materials here and that's three four deep of each one of, of stone and cobble and then I categorized all of the all of the concrete and then I categorized all the glass all the wood all the wool all the terracotta all the dyes these are empty don't have any use for them yet I think they're empty yeah and then we got some plants and crap over here Oh, if you guys need custom enchant books, oh my lord have mercy. 
So, you know, I broke them down by bow, by tool, and by armor. So if you guys need any of that, let me know. This is Pent's dumps chest because when I first started playing with, with Pent, he would do this. He'd come up to a chest and he would just unload everything into the chest and walk away. Well, <laughs> me being the organizational fool that I am, that wasn't going to work. So Pent now no longer needs a dump chest because he's a good young man. And then, oh yeah, if you need, we got, dude, we just, yeah, if you need anything, just let us know. Um, let's do a spawn tour since we got a new spawn. Okay. Oh my god. There we go. So, we did get a new and improved uh, spawn for uh, Craft Your Town. And hey, it's the weather sign. <laughs> Turn off rain. <laughs> I wonder how many people's used it today. <laughs> um, so, Craft Your Town. Uh, once you're outside here, it's PvP. Um, and then, got, a, got some slime blocks, a little fun. Boing, boing. Um, but yeah, um, so we got that, and then over here is the crates, and these are for the vote crates, uncommon, mystical, uh, ma magical, and vote crates, and there's our two managers, Josh, or Chipush, and Red Watch, those are just holograms, they're not really them, Luke Mango, the owner, hey Luke, um, and so every day you get to check your daily reward and I'm not ready for mine yet and you get a book each week and then the first person to this chest after server restart which is at 2 o'clock gets the pickaxe uh, it's an explosive 5 pickaxe and um, there's the uh, moderators of the server Attic and Phoenix that's me by the way and you got a free enchant uh, enchantment room for the table. Um, there's Pentlock. You're, <laughs> you're, uh, I'm naked. You're naked. And Beanie Ben. You know, take a look at me. Just, just to be for sure, I do have a suit. It's just for some reason that doesn't show it. That's really weird seeing you naked, Pent. It doesn't turn me on. Um, but I'm glad it doesn't. <laughs> These are the helpers, but uh, Breezy Pickle, uh, I've only seen once, and Paladin is no longer a helper. I don't know why his hologram's still there. So this is the black market. You ready? Sure. Doing, 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 doing. <laughs> so this is Pence, um black market, but like he said, he has not... Um, put up the signs to sell stuff yet but we definitely have the chest loaded down and ready to sell whatever you guys need um, so I mean everybody needs an energy regulator maybe a dust washer you know easy machines to make um, so then um, mine's down here and I sell those little scrap boxes and let's see. Oh, yep. Somebody's been buying them. So, you know, if, if you're going to buy them, you get all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and then other people have bought, made shops, but they don't really. Riley Dean. That's the person that stole all my, all my stuff out of my gear. A little twerp. I need to find Riley Dean. Um, this one's coming soon, so he hasn't opened this one quite yet. And then this person, uh, boss man, will buy all of your vote keys. Why? I don't know. But he will. And, as you can tell, no one has done anything with their, sh with their stalls, really. I got a phone call. Tell him I said hi. 
this person is selling woods okay just go into a forest and chop some trees so this guy Andrew he's kinda like us but not as big he wants to do a bank okay so oh there he is in chat right there speaking of the devil um, so here's a, a, a decent one but they don't have any signs like how are you gonna buy stone carrot saddle what kind of saddle just the regular You're selling for five thousand dollars how many of those things I got I'm sorry to make that person go broke um, yeah so um, they have no buy or sell st uh, on there kind of weird violator you can buy an elytra for thirty thousand dollars well it shops out of stock huh. clay flint blah blah blah, blah. alright well anyway this has been our tour of the new spawn and our base and I just wanted to say thanks for watching Pent and I's video and if you guys have any in-game questions uh, definitely let us know. You got anything to add Pent? Um, no, pretty much uh, everybody have a good one and we'll see you in game. Talk to you later.